saltwater therapy. It gets no better. Everyone had a great Monday. I know I did. Back to work today. Got to hang out with my grandmother and my brother over the weekend. Now I'm about to catch fish. Just gonna do a little jigging tonight. Gonna throw some Berkeley gulps on that jig head. Tide's coming in. Got high tide at 5.30 a.m. I think it said. Um, so incoming tide right now. Not too much wind. Uh, wind's at my back, which is great. So I should be able to cast further. And maybe I'll hook up something. We'll see. Just keeping it real light. One rod, one cocktail. And then my little fanny pack. Dad tackle box. But I'm not a parent, although I'd love to be. One day. Fish on, baby. Third cast. Not sure what it is. If I had to guess, I'd say a snook. Got a good hook up to him. Probably stand a decent ch chance of catching this fish. Got a real solid hook in his face. I know that. <laughs> yeah, baby. He was screaming some drag at first. He's in close, guys. I'm going to have to put the phone down so I can get serious with this thing he's right here by the rocks yeah ho, ho, running some drag baby Woo, hoo, hoo. yeah i just brought my small rig out but hell yeah shit's fun on this little rig we got him got that rod doubled over baby get you some <laughs> all right i'm gonna get serious i'll show you the fish if i can land him Woo. <laughs> awesome Jack Creval should have guessed. I was hoping it was a snook, but I don't know Jack. <laughs> he put up a good fight though. Slammed that Berkeley gulp. Little five and a half inch shrimp. I think it's got like a three quarter ounce jig head on there, but heck yeah, man. Couple cast in, I already got one. <laughs> Little football. Yeah. There's a feeding frenzy going on and I had to record it to show you guys, but my God, I got to quit so I can cast right there. I am freaking ready to catch another one and they are slamming top water baits right now. I just got hit so freaking hard. I thought it was Mike Tyson. I ripped his dang lips off and the little bitty guy came flying. I'm telling you guys, they are absolutely on fire out here. Right now, look at them slamming those bait fish over there. It has not let up. Tell us all about it. What do you think? From your perspective, Jack, how did it go tonight? Is COVID-19 affecting the jackfish community? We don't know Jack. Look at those bait over there getting slammed. Top water action tonight. Boca Grande, baby. Where are you guys at? I know where I am, and I know what I'm doing. And I know you wish you were here, and I know you wish right now. Perhaps you wish you could be me. Only because I'm slamming the freaking fish, and I'm slamming a cocktail. Golly, I'm having fun. Look at him down there getting slammed. Let's see, where are they? Where's the action? Come on, show me some high action. See all the bait down there? Right there, see that? See him getting slammed? Just cast it out there, we'll see. Oh shit, got hit, did you see that? I got just my freaking pinky finger holding onto my rod. I'm in big trouble here. All right, reeled it in. Gonna make another. All right, here we go. There's still bait right there. There's still a ton of fish getting slammed right in front of me.
Oh my god, I can't believe I'm not getting hit. Oh, there he is! <laughs> Got him! Got him! He don't feel big. He's not. Come on, get up here. <laughs> How you like that? Booyah, baby! That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah! Bunch of little jackfish. Hey, it's good fun anyway. I don't eat these things. I mean, I guess people do, but somebody could. I'm not that hungry. Tell us about it. Oh, yeah? Is that right? Hmm, you don't say. All right, well, stand by. The fish are still slamming the bait down there, absolutely annihilating them. My bait, the poor thing, it's old battle-hardened Berkeley gulp there. This thing's been annihilated multiple times now, but you know what? They still hit them. I know they're not cheap. What's that? Seven bucks for five of them? You do the math. All I know is I'm going to cast this one until they quit biting it. They ain't quit freaking biting yet. I tell you what, I snatched this one out the water like a Taiwanese tuna fisherman. Woohoo! They're still slamming the baits out there left and freaking right. This, <laughs> this shrimp is a, a sad pigment of what it used to be, but let's see what happens when I sling it back out there, baby. Uh-huh. Some nights they just cooperate, if you know what I mean. All right, let's see what happens when we got a half a shrimp, half a gulp. Shit, I think I got bit. I'm trying to situate the phone. God dang it. Come on. Got shit to do. I need to get a freaking GoPro so god dang bad. I had a ghetto one, and that's what it is, and was. Come on, half a shrimp, big bite, let's go. I'm gonna do it one more time, and I'll probably put some new bait on there, new shrimp. It's literally in every cast thing. My bait got annihilated like four times. His tail was bit off right away. It's a ton of schooly little jacks like this. Man, is it fun. Tell us about it. Really. We're feeling the democratic terrorism in our side of the water as well. It's not good, I agree. That's correct. Terrorism. I don't know, I agree with you. It makes me sick, it makes me nauseous. As bad as I want to be fishing right now, I've got a big booger I've got to take care of. See this? Sometimes you just got to cut the dang thing. I can mess with it for a little while and try to untie it. Nah, it's quicker just to cut it and retie. So my braid's cut. Mm hmm. New, pound, new uh, piece of fluorocarbon. Watch this knot. It's called the double uni. I'll try to do it my best and quick as I can. In the wind is not an ideal place to do this knot, but that's where I'm at. Alright, that's the single uni. Now I gotta do the same thing. Same knot, just on the other side. Coming from underneath, making a loop like that. I don't, I don't know if you can see it or not, but basically I'm, I've made a loop here and I'm gonna wrap my fluorocarbon through my loop and over my braid five times. Three, four, five. I did the same with the braid on the other side, but did seven loops. Now I'm gonna cinch that down. And this is why they call it a double uni. So both sides have the same knot. Now all I have to do is pull my fluoro and my braid and boom, it comes together beautifully. And I'm talking about like the hottest chick on the freaking cheerleader team beautiful. This is the best knot you could ever tie for a braid to fluoro. All right, I've got my braid and my leader tied up together now. Hopefully you can see how pretty that knot is. I don't know if you can or not, but it is seriously a bad to the bone knot. You can 
trim your tag ends a little closer than that, but it really doesn't matter in this application. Gorgeous knot. All right, so when you're tying fluorocarbon, I like to use a circle knot. It's a beat up old jig head, but you go through the eye of the bait, come around like this. All right, see how I'm pinching the eye of the hook and these two lines here come from underneath. Grab a hold of your tag end and make a loop. Not just one, but three. Come under again, second loop, come under again, third loop. I got three loops there, okay? Come from the back side of these loops and go through them with your tag end. Should look something like that, or not something like that, should look like that. And then let the knot form up here. Put a little you know what on there. A little, little saliva. Pull that bad boy down. And booyah! You're in there like swimwear. Circle knot, the tag end points away from the bait. I got broke off, so I re-rig here with this Rapala x wrap We'll see what happens. I'm sure I'll get a bit more, but I'll definitely have to use those pliers to get the dang fish off the hook. They're still, they're still hitting top water, not quite as hard as they were. Maybe an hour or less until dark. But uh, yeah, I see, bait, I see fish hitting bait over there. I'm almost certain I'll get bit. Got a little fish on here with, my, with that swim bait, that Rapala. Not a big fish at all, but <laughs> I see him jumping out there, that's cool. I've had a couple of bites. Not quite as hard of a hit as those uh, Berkeley gulps, but those treble hooks don't mess around. Get bit on this. Normally get a hookup. And there he is. <laughs> Let's bring his little slimy ass down here and we'll grab hold of those pliers. Don't, homie don't play with them treble hooks. Them treble hooks don't play with homie neither. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Y'all know what the swimming fish said when he hit a concrete wall? Damn. All right. Oh, shit. Those are airborne knees, and they pop, and they hurt. All right. That came out. No big deal. Adios, you slimy bastard. That's a wrap. I could probably stay here and catch fish for the rest of the night because the tide's coming in, but my spot over here closes in like 45 minutes so I'm gonna get perhaps an adult beverage I'm definitely gonna get some fish tacos or something over here but um, yeah what a great night you cannot beat this spot guys seriously if you've not been to Boca Grande get your ass out here I don't know what you're waiting for. light tackle good fun You guys are trying to get mar married or something. I don't know why you would do that, but if you wanted to, you could get married right there. I don't know who you need to call or anything, but people get married there all the time. And I'm in the background like, I'm like the local redneck fisherman that's standing on the seawall, right where it says, do not stand on the seawall. Normally they don't care. When I, when I see weddings though, kind of like give them the stank eye, see if they do or don't like it. If they do, I'll throw them little poses you know, monster fish type thing. Or maybe I'll just fish and not look their way. If you want to get married though, seriously, I don't know who would want to do that, but over, over there is a place you could do it.